Shalom family, your brother Jacob is back. And real quick, I want to talk about um, this uh, outrage from our Caucasian friends. So there's a new movie coming out with Denzel. He's playing the part of Hannibal Barker, who fought against Rome. <clears throat> and for some reason, everything in the past, we know it's, it's been whitewashed. Now, Hannibal was a black man. Hannibal was a Negro. But they're trying to say that this movie is blackwashing history, when in all actuality it isn't. So I'm going to hit you with a little bit of scholarship real quick. So this book is called The Black Man, His Antecedents, His Genius, and His Achievements. It was written in 1863. I'm going to page 33. Now, this was written by um, William Wells Brown. I cannot confirm. Uh, confirm his sources but I'm going to bring you what he said so he was an abolitionist uh, I believe this is page 33 <clears throat> so in the middle of this paragraph it says Tertullian and St. Augustine were Ethiopians now the Christians they loved um, to go to what they call the church fathers which is those people that came after Christ, the apostles and disciples. They came after them. Now, so it, it's saying Tertullian was an Ethiopian. Now, what that really means is he was black. Because that word Ethi Ethiop means burnt face. That's what the white folks refer to us as. Now, it says Terence, the most refined and accomplished scholar of his time, was of the same race. Hanno, Hanno, the father of Hamilcar and grandfather of Hannibal was a Negro. These are the antecedents, meaning the ancestors, people that came before, right? These are the antecedents of the enslaved blacks on this continent. Well, we're Israelites. So that would make Hannibal and his people Israelites. They're Semitic Negroes. So that's your quick lesson for the day. Don't let these people fool you. It's a rude awakening for some folks. I'm your brother, Jacob Shalom.